knows. Anyone can learn to cook, but not everyone can become a chef. It's this kind of attitude that is sweeping coffee houses all over America. You don't just make coffee anymore. You aspire to become a barista. Most people call a barista as anybody standing behind the counter in within striking distance of an espresso machine. A barista for us is a coffee and espresso preparation expert. Today, preparing coffee is almost a calling and making a perfect espresso drink is the highest form of the divine service. Technically, espresso is a coffee beverage that is prepared by forcing pressurized water through finely ground coffee. This method concentrates the coffee flavor. Espresso production is a very, very sensitive way to make coffee and to get a great espresso, you need a very highly skilled operator. It's a lot like theater in a lot of ways, but I think people are really interested and a lot of people see everything we're doing and wonder why it's taking longer than it does at other shops, because this does take a little bit of time. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Specialty Coffee Association of America's 2008 United States Barista Championship. Each year, baristas from 10 different regional events vie for the U.S. title and a rock star-like celebrity status in the coffee world. The barista functions in this competitive environment just as they would in a great coffee house. So they interact with the judges as though they were customers. The flavors from the cappuccino are incredible. There are also technical judges watching every move made during this coffee combat. Grinding, dosing, tamping, brewing, steaming, and serving. Here you have the greatest baristas in the nation. After three attempts, Kyle Glanville from Los Angeles captured the coveted trophy. Round of applause for Mr. Kyle Glanville! When they actually announced my name, I was just like speechless. And I, I never would have thought it would have knocked the wind out of me like it really did, but I was absolutely overwhelmed. Kyle has been a barista for eight years, and he is so good at it. Intelligentsia Coffee made him their head of espresso research and development. And here's the pro in action. Here's my loosely ground uh, distributed coffee. So I'm actually going to have to distribute this coffee more evenly using my index finger. I do a sweep so that now I have a nice, even puff of coffee. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to compact the coffee using a hand tamper. So to do that, as it makes contact with the coffee, nice light tamp to start. Gently tap the outside of the basket so any coffee grounds around the edge fall back on top. And then one more, a little bit more pressure, release, and just give it a little polish. Insert the porta filter and immediately brew. Kyle says any good barista will constantly be chasing the perfect grind and extraction that will produce the flawless shot. So this one is uh, over-extracted. Notice it has this sort of burned-looking edges. It's also a very short portion of liquid. This one is under-extracted. The portion of liquid itself would be an immediate indicator that this was under-extracted, just lacking sort of a nice tongue coating uh, experience. And then this is actually properly extracted. It's crema all the way to the edges. Crema, by the way, is coffee lingo for foam. So the next time you order up an espresso, check out your crema and see if it's reaching the edges of your cup.